well, to everyone's surprise, you really can see it. On the ground, it looks even more striking. But it wasn't the plane that many of these folks came to see. It was the pilot, Mike Newman, and the crew chief, Skip Johnston, both from Maryville, Tennessee. They both graduated from Heritage High School back in 1980. Here's the pilot, and here's the crew chief. From high school, Newman went on to the Air Force Academy, and today was a big day for him. Well, it's fun. It was nice coming home again. I haven't uh, flown an airplane in here since uh, pilot training back in 84. Johnston finds working on the stealth pretty exciting stuff. Very, very different from anything else I've ever experienced in my career. While Mike Newman got an early start in the ROTC, Skip Johnston was in the mine club. So how did mining prepare him for his career? This is standard marshalling, right? This would be a right turn. This would be a left turn. The stealth was once the government's best kept top secret. It's kind of out of the bag now, but... Well, there's still some top secret stuff in it. Oh, there sure is. Like what? <laughs> like I can't tell you, it wouldn't be top secret, right? Right, I forgot about that. Flying the stealth can be tricky, but working on it can too, since much of the work is done in secret in the dark. When you're in the dark, and the airplane's black, and you got to know what you're doing, and it takes a while to get acclimated. Or else. Or else you could whack your head and... <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> that would be bad. Ken Schwal, Action 10 News Weekend.